Hello friends! So in today's video I'm going to be doing a bunch of different outfits that I've been absolutely loving lately. I am showing a lot of pieces that I've recently thrifted and probably not shown in a haul because I've been majorly slacking on my thrift hauls lately. I just go to the bins so often I go usually about once a week. Sorry for the heat. I just like pick up a few pieces every week so it's been a little hard to like come out with like a full thrift haul but maybe i'll do one soon but anyways i just wanted to show off a lot of my favorite pieces as of recently how i've been styling them etc etc let's get straight into the outfits for this video i wanted to do it a little bit differently and just kind of like pull one of my favorite pieces maybe show like how i would style it kind of talk it through with you guys i don't even know how to describe what my style has been lately you'll see that it's a lot of kind of the same thing going on, but that's just like what I'm most comfortable in. So yeah, this feels weird to strip on camera. I tried to find like some good coverage undergarments going on. The underwear from Target, my bralette is from Parade. This is my new favorite bralette actually. It's like pretty flattening and like supportive. It looks really, really great under t-shirts and it's really freaking comfortable. I do always have a code with Parade. It'll be down below, not sponsored, but just saying. I think the number one thing that I've been gravitated towards this winter has been just my black jeans. No matter what outfit I put together, I almost always go straight for the black jeans. So I'm gonna go ahead and style these ones up. These, I don't know how well you can see, I'm actually also filming on my back camera for the first time because I know the quality will be a lot better that way, but I can't really see myself. So I hope you guys can see what I'm talking about. But anyways, these jeans are from Target. They're just like wild fable jeans or nothing super crazy, but I absolutely love them. They fit super high-waisted as you can see. They've got holes in each of the knees. Just like the perfect amount of distressing. They're the perfect faded black. And they look really good on. They're just a great basic jean. Honestly, black jeans match anything and that's probably why I've been gravitated towards them so much. Off the bat, something that I recently thrifted, which I'm so excited about, is this it's not actually vintage but it just kind of looks vintage it's a nightmare on elm street t-shirt it fits me so good i'm not huge into graphic t-shirts like i like them i just don't find myself like wanting to throw them on that often but if i were to style that i would also throw on probably this belt i actually think i posted this exact outfit on tiktok so if you follow me there, you're definitely going to be seeing some repeats. But you know, the whole point of this video is that I'm showing you what I'm actually wearing. So, I just recently got this grommet belt off of Depop. It was only like 10 bucks and it's from Brandy Melville. And I love it. It fits me really, really good. And it's like really good quality. It looks great. I think my most worn shoes have been my Converse. My just black Chuck Taylors. Honestly, Sambas have really been growing on me. But like... I don't know, I just don't know if they like suit me. I would have to try them on, but I have just always loved Converse literally ever since I was little, so they feel the most me. I used to really like Vans, and I do like Vans slip-ons. Those are pretty much the only style of Vans that I like on myself, but I don't know. I've just always been a Converse girly. I don't think they can really go out of style at least in my opinion. So this is a really basic outfit. Obviously to wear this out in the winter time, I would need some layers. So hold on. I've definitely been improving my cardigan collection. I found this green one. I believe it like savers and uh, I love her. This is outfit number one, I suppose. Very, very easy, simple, casual, if you will. Nothing too exciting. I don't feel like taking off my other layers and it will get covered up anyways. Another outfit that I really like, I styled this top with a slightly different pair of black jeans on my TikTok, which I really liked the silhouette, but they are currently in the wash, so I can't really show you. They're just a little bit more of a wide leg jean, but I got this button up corduroy green. You're going to see a lot of green in this video. Ever since I dyed my hair red, I just like love green on me all of a sudden. I love, love, love this top especially buttoning it all the way up i just feel like that's the most flattering on me personally you know what else i would do really lean into the masculine side of this throw on a good beanie this is look number two absolutely love this this is a very good like gender neutral outfit i feel let's move on to the next 
I'm really gonna try to go through these fast because I do not want to be filming this forever. I'll show you one last thing with the black jeans just because this is like probably the most realistic as to how I would wear them and this is also gonna change up the vibes just a little bit. I'm even gonna change my shoes for this look. You know guys, I built up my jean collection and I have so many pairs of like blue jeans that I really do love, but I just have not really enjoyed dressing in like lighter colors or really rather I should say colors. And to me like a light blue jean feels like I'm wearing a color. I just only like to wear like very muted tones, very earthy tones. That's why you're gonna see so much green so much brown, so much black. It's definitely all within the same color scheme. But the thing about that is it honestly makes getting dressed so easy because like all of my clothes match and all of it I feel really comfortable and really myself in. I just throw on my like Reeboks, very grandma style sneakers. I love these because they have the gum sole on them, which adds just a little bit of something to them so they're not all white and it kind of plays into like the vintage look. I don't know if I showed this in a haul or not yet, but I thrifted this Kugi sweater at Goodwill. Guys, I've been searching for one of these literally forever. I've honestly had them on my radar since like high school. So finding one in the wild at Goodwill for only $5 was actually kind of insane. I love this one because it is like lighter and it's all neutral colors. So it's really, really easy to style with anything. I think honestly these shoes match just like so perfectly and pairing it with like a darker colored pant I just find I just can't wear like all white colors I have to have some sort of black somewhere in my outfit <laughs> having the dark jeans really like grounds everything let's move on to something a little more fun I think I'm gonna show you guys how I like to style my camo pants next I'm probably gonna have to roll my underwear down because I decided to challenge myself I actually have two different pairs of camo pants these are a little bit lighter and more faded, but they are also low-waisted, so let's see. Ooh, I think they hit at the same point as my underwear. Like, I don't know, they're kind of a mid-rise, but like, they do shift down very easily. I love these so much. You probably won't be able to see it super well, but the back here has like brown. I don't know if they had to patch these up because some little boy probably wore them to death and just like shredded the hem of these but i actually really really love that detail though so <sighs> going back to the converse hold please i also love the silhouette of how these hang over my converse they hit me at like the perfect length on my ankles so with camo pants since they are kind of loud i guess you could say i like to do a very basic top I wanted to throw this one on you'll probably be able to see my bra through it so ignore that but i oh yeah that's really good i love how baggy this thermal shirt fits it's actually victoria's secret it fits like super wide neck which i think is like really really flattering and it also has the buttons at the front if you know me i love henley tops so much i would probably layer on top of this to be honest i don't know exactly what i would throw oh Yes, I do. I'll be right back. Hold, please. In my eyes, you'd be able to see, yeah, the white poking out at the top a little bit. If it was like a higher necked, like, t-shirt or something, it would stick out a little bit better. I was hoping the bottom would stick out too, but it's not going to because the sweatshirt is very oversized. But this is a vintage, not Harley, but it literally says vintage classics on it and it has a motorcycle and it's really, really sick. Um, again, I love the super baggy silhouette with these pants. I feel like my style has definitely been leaning very, very grungy, very skater boy, very androgynous. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like in winter, especially with how much I have to layer, it's a little harder to tap into my more feminine side. So I've just been loving like the baggy, oversized, comfortable stuff. This is look number one with the camo pants. Slay. Now, speaking of my more feminine side, the way that I like to dress these up to be a little more feminine if I'm not feeling like being like too too masculine. This might be very ugly to some, but I love pairing pink with camo. I don't necessarily love pink camo. I mean honestly, I kind of like it in a way like it's very camp, but I, I don't know that I'm like a pink camo wearing girly, but I 
just really 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 love how this sweater looks with these camo pants i really like to tuck the hem under my bra that's a big reason why i wear these like super tight compressive bras and this is kind of showing my stomach which is a little scary um i could judge it even a little down um but i think it's kind of cute like if i'm not too scared of showing the belly button that's a really really cute look and it's still kind of baggy and casual but the pink really plays it up I could put my hair in little braids and add bows. I've worn that exact look before with these just to like girl it up even further. I love the juxtaposition of doing like a super masculine piece, but then making it super feminine. I wanted to show a graphic to you with these. So I, <laughs> this shirt just cracks me up because it says I heart rock, which I just think is fucking hilarious because does it mean rock and roll? Does it mean literal rocks either way me as fuck i love both of those things i collect rocks and all i listen to is like rock and alternative so i think this shirt is really funny it's a little boy's shirt so i i honestly like really love the look of the little boy's shirt with the little boy's pants and then it really matches well with my converse this is definitely giving kind of like early 2000s like avril lavigne vibes just petite girly things that little boy's clothes fit me honestly better than some women's clothes do like it just has such a good silhouette and i like being able to like judge it just a little bit and it shows like just a peak of tummy sometimes but it's not like showing my belly button like it's not cropped you know what i mean it fits kind of like a baby tee but boxy oh it's so good i love this shirt i actually haven't worn this out yet this is probably something i would wear more in like the springtime but love this so that was look number three now we're gonna move on to something else I wanted to show these jeans so i got these from a friend actually who runs like a vintage store i love these jeans more than like anything i love the wash of these i don't know how well you can see like the whole fit of them they hit right at my belly button so they're definitely like at that cusp of between mid-rise and high-rise but they just fit so good they're not like super flattering on my butt or anything but like the fit in the leg is incredible they hit at the perfect spot of my ankle they're like baggy but not too baggy i don't know they're just literally perfect i got this fully oh yeah that looks really cute together i got this fully cashmere 100 percent cashmere cardigan that's by like j crew or something kind of fancy um it's a nice dark gray color it's really 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 soft it's super super warm i love to like only button a few of the buttons leave the top a little open so you can see my tattoo have a whiskey little peak of belly button down there i think it looks really good with the rise of these jeans actually like they meet really nicely i do still have my converse on which looks really good i wanted to Maybe play around with dressing this up just a little bit more though i've never worn these shoes with jeans i usually only wear them with skirts but these are a pair of little boys sperry topsider loafers they're in a like really really nice cherry leather i honestly still kind of need to break them in a little bit but i think paired with this sweater is a really nice way to like dress it up just a little bit but not like too much because it's still with jeans i don't Think you guys can see full body and i really wish you could i promise i'm gonna try to like <laughs> get my filming angles together a little bit better but this looks so good i find that like i've definitely been drawn to more basic pieces lately and focusing more on silhouette because sometimes patterns can just like feel like a lot you know what i mean i wanted to find a way to feature my favorite jacket ever so i'm just gonna throw this on over top because it looks good with any freaking jeans but i think with the silhouette of these jeans a super boxy little jacket moment is gonna be so cute so again i got this at the bins it is so good i think it's like a size or two too big for me but i absolutely love it so much the sleeves i have cuffed over once just because i think that looks really good and it hits a really good spot on me it's big enough to where i can like Pair, chunky sweaters or even like a hoodie underneath of this and stay really really warm i always forget the exact name of this material i think it's like called brocade if i'm 
remembering correctly. Um, but it's like that tapestry, blanket, couch type of material. I love this pattern so much, actually. I was looking for a floral one of these for a very, very long time. Still on my radar, don't get me wrong, but I've like really fallen in love with this pattern. I think especially the colors of it, I can match it with any of my outfits, mainly because I do just wear like black or like, you know, the dark jeans. But yeah, I love, love the silhouette of this together. And actually like with the loafers, it looks really cute. So just wanted to show off my favorite jacket ever. I'm actually like really on the hunt for a good, a good coat. I don't love the coats that I have right now. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys one more coat just cause it will be easy to do so with this. I'm gonna show you guys the coat that I wear the most often, but it is really loud. I need a good, like, just basic solid coat that will keep me really warm and fits me really well. I've been looking at Carhartt ones. They're just so freaking expensive and especially on Depop. I do not trust most of those sellers, but I have been looking at like a little boys one, maybe that will fit me well, we'll see. You just really need like a nice vintage, worn in, utility type of coat, you know what I mean? I'll be right back. So I actually thought of this coat because, I mean, for a few reasons. For one, I think, you know, it kind of gives a little classier of a look with my loafers, which is really cute. Um, also evidently, cheetah print, leopard print, whatever, I don't really know the difference to be honest is trending which is so funny because i swear it just trended like a few years ago and in my eyes it's kind of neutral the only reason i feel like this coat is like such a statement and it's kind of a lot is because it's it is an extra small but it's like super oversized it um is fur as well it's got a hood i mean she is the moment right like she is the statement piece. I absolutely love it though. So I wanted to show it to you guys. This coat is really, really, really warm, which is nice. I'm going to leave this top on and switch into a little skirt. I honestly like didn't want to style too many outfits with a skirt because if I'm just being so like honest and real with you guys, I'm really not putting on a skirt most days. 90 99% of the time even. I'm throwing on a pair of jeans, a pair of pants to leave the house in the winter. It feels a little like dressy almost to put a skirt and tights on, but it is so cute. I think once it gets a little closer to spring, I'll be doing more of this tights and skirt combo, but it's just really not practical in the winter. Anyways, I actually just got this skirt off Depop it was in my cart for honestly probably months and the girl ended up making me an offer for four dollars she originally had it listed for like 16 and i was like girl hell yeah i'll get a skirt for four bucks Are you kidding me it is a small so it's just like slightly big on me yeah it's fine i'm used to that i could always like something i've been doing a lot more of is like slightly altering my clothes I could sew the button even though it would like fold over a little weird I could sew the button a little closer and make that fit better but I love this houndstooth pattern like a lot and um let's see honestly looks really cute not wearing socks because it keeps the whole outfit like super dark and kind of monotone almost I don't know um this is a very preppy kind of like dark academia feeling look which I do absolutely love i love dark academia so 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 much um i would maybe even how would it look if i button this all the way up yeah i think i like that because then it shows just like a peak of skin but i wanted to see if i tucked this under my bra and made it cropped with it being buttoned all the way to the top yeah that's actually that's really cute i really really like that as well i wanted to pair some socks and things with this hold on with these loafers, I really like to do a scrunchy sock. I'm almost tempted to switch the skirt out. So I also got this plaid one off of Depop, which I think might be my favorite one because it's such a dark toned plaid. It like adds something to the outfit, don't get me wrong, but it also is like really muted and almost kind of like neutral, if you will. Yeah, this looks a lot better with the tights, I think. And then also, if you couldn't see, I don't remember if I showed you the scrunchy socks with the loafers. 
my scrunchy socks are like kind of an oatmeal color so i decided to grab this big oversized sweater that i have it's a vintage izod sweater this one i feel like the skirt is a little long so let me hike her up a bit this is also leaning pretty preppy but like make it a little grungy this is definitely kind of leaning like tumblr girl ish what can i say i am a tumblr girl at heart but yes i really really love this honestly i feel like some pigtails some little like bun pigtails would be really cute with this i wouldn't want to go like too much into the schoolgirl look but i i really love this i don't know why i haven't worn this yet this is so freaking cute i could also pair instead of loafers do a boot you know like i'm looking at my brown doc martens right now i think those would be really cute that would also give it way more of a grungy look as well i think i'm gonna do my overalls keep it fun keep away from the jeans because that's like so obvious and i don't want this to be too boring so yeah let's do overalls next okay so something that i realized i've been majorly lacking in my wardrobe is basic long sleeve shirts or honestly really just like any long sleeve shirts so I've been trying to keep an eye out while thrifting. I just got this one. It's just a simple brown little boxy number. I, okay, I haven't even tried this on yet, but I love the fit of this a lot, actually. This is, this is good. This is real good. My favorite overalls ever are my white ones, just because they're so easy to style. I have been on the search for a black pair because like I've said a million times in this video, you guys know I love wearing black jeans. So I feel like black overalls would be so easy for me to style but um i've had these white ones forever they just have the most perfect fit ever i you know i'm not usually the type that likes to wear them on just one arm because it feels kind of odd but like why do i love that that's so cute okay let me let me put it on all the way though this i would definitely pair with my brown docks so that might be a little matchy to some but feels right to me so let me that's gonna take me a minute but let me get those on this feels very basic because i'm wearing just a plain brown long sleeve with plain white overalls and then my brown docks which the browns don't perfectly match the way i wanted to spice this up a little bit my green flannel if you guys know i've been looking for the perfect green flannel forever and i did find like a really good one but it was a bit too big for me so i gave it to my boyfriend this one is definitely oversized, but it's not like that crazy, honestly. I really like this. This is good. I don't often wear things like over my overalls like this, but I do really like how this looks. I feel like I could even button it up all the way and wear it under them, maybe. That could be cute. I just really had to show off this flannel to you guys because isn't it so good? Literally everything that I've ever been searching for, I just really love it. It's the perfect like small plaid it has the brown buttons on it oh it's so so good i love i again with these henley tops absolutely love them especially like this one if it has a stripe across the front yeah i really like how that looks to have the collar with the overalls i think that's super cute here's the docks with them of course i just like these docks look good with everything honestly any color top they look good but i was thinking if like i only buttoned like the top button and you know it kind of comes open i think that looks pretty cool not always the most inspired to like style overalls honestly because they really are the majority of the outfit it's kind of like styling a dress like i don't really know how to style a dress <laughs> you know what i mean because it's just like the whole outfit what am i supposed to do oh i have one other thing i wanted to show this is shared between my boyfriend and i our camo sweatshirt y'all one of the best thrift finds maybe ever i mean look at this thing it's perfect it's so good i own honestly an embarrassing amount of camo i have a t-shirt a long sleeve a sweatshirt two pairs of camo pants i want a camo jacket really bad um i actually my friend thrifted me one but it's way too big on me unfortunately so i have that listed on my depop right now um and it is like a real tree camo jacket it's so good i'm so sad because it's like a bomber style too even but it just like it i can't make it work for me sadly i also really 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 want a pair of camo overalls i look for little boys ones 
as per usual you know i love my little boys clothes but uh yeah i might actually do camo overalls especially in the springtime how iconic would that be but i think i might let go of the idea of a camo jacket i don't need a fully camo wardrobe like this is getting maybe slightly out of hand let's be so real anyways it's super nice to pair a sweatshirt under overalls sometimes sweaters just like don't fully look right i think though that like sweatshirts maybe because they're a softer material and everything that they do fit a little bit better let's pop the collar out of this bad boy oh my gosh how cute is that shut up i've never put that on together that is so cute i can't even handle it i was lazy and only did one side of my overalls i don't know why i'm suddenly liking the way that looks like i've literally never liked that revolutionary this is why i make these videos though I can play dress up with you guys and figure out things that I like. <sighs> my goodness, I'm getting really tired, y'all. I apologize if my energy levels are very clearly depleting. I wanted to show you guys these jeans. I got these once again from the little boys section. They are um, Canyon River Blues jeans. They are the coolest wash I have ever seen. They are like a dark wash, but they're so faded. Let me show you. It's like these are a typical dark wash right but look at the color difference like i don't even know how to describe these but they're so good um but i wanted to show a different pair of black shoes that i own mainly because these are so fucking cute i can never remember people's usernames but i got these from a girl off depop i just stumbled across them fell in love because i was looking for some like ballet flat mary jane type of shoes found these they're literally kitties and i was like well of course they're also tuck so they've got like the bones on the bottom, the little kitty tail wraps up the side, but I love like that they're so dark and they just have the pops of white as the kitty face and along the trim. These are literally just the cutest shoes ever. Every single time I wear these, I get compliments. They're kind of funny with these pants because these pants are so oversized and baggy. These just completely juxtapose that. So here they are. They're so freaking cutie pie. Honestly, like I love this outfit. That's my first look with these. I'm going to just shed the layer of the camo sweatshirt off so they can show I think I actually meant to pair this like polo Henley top with my other jeans if I'm being honest I also like to wear this with my black cropped wide leg jeans not the jeans I wore earlier but the pair that I mentioned is in the wash I just again love how boxy it fits I love the point of my hips that it hits me at and i don't know why like with these jeans i just want to go baggy on baggy every time i put them on i think once again maybe in the spring i'll really like it with like just a tank top or something like pretty tight fitting i'm really trying to up my like basics game like i really want to get some good fitting like baby t-shirts why did that sound so weird coming out baby baby tees i want to get some baby tees maybe some like baseball baby tees i don't know i've been like scouring depop i just i'm so specific about the fit of things anymore um but i want some like good crop tops they just have to be just right anyways i wanted to show i feel like this is gonna be so basic honestly but like i've been really really into hoodies this winter because it's so easy to throw on and they keep you so warm it adds like a little more of something than just a sweatshirt I'm gonna go grab a hoodie I actually have a few really good hoodies I have a plain gray one that fits perfect that I wear all the time I have this Harley Davidson one which I feel like just fits with these jeans so so well I also have a freaking John Deere hoodie it's like kind of vintage looking and it fits a lot smaller than this one does I love that hoodie so much and then I've also been kind of getting into zip-up hoodies surprisingly enough I found two Bernie Melville ones. I found a gray like super oversized one and then I have a cropped white one. Anyways, this is hands down my most worn hoodie. I love this one so much. It has the really small Harley Davidson graphic on the front which is like almost gone. It's really really faded. But what I love is the back. It looks so good with the freaking jeans you guys. This is just so casual and relaxed. Why do I just dress like a skater boy now? I don't know. I don't know, but that's just like what I love these days. So I can almost guarantee you guys in like the spring and summertime, I'm going to start 
getting into a lot more of my feminine clothes again, but I don't know, something about just dressing like a little skater boy in the winter time is like, just it, it just hits, you know? It's definitely getting a little redundant. So I'm gonna do one more pair of pants. It's kind of a wild card. I just recently thrifted them. I must admit they're a little bit big on me, but I love them so much that I like really wanna make them work, but I haven't tried to style them yet. So we're gonna do that together really fast. They are, I don't know that they're vintage. They're by the brand KUT, um, but they're vintage looking because they're really, really faded, but they are a corduroy corduroy leopard print pant. A lot of leopard print pants I really don't love because they're like not the right shade of brown if that makes sense. Also I'm so sorry about any background noise you guys have been hearing through this video. Somebody is now blasting music in their car outside. Gotta love that. Oh man I really like these pants. I think I should keep them. As you can see like they're they're really big on me honestly. Just around my waist. They fit me perfect everywhere else. Like, I love the fit in, like, the thighs. They're already, at least when I got them, they're, like, a raw hem at the bottom, and they hit at the perfect spot on my ankles. They just fit so good everywhere, just not in the waist. Which, I mean, they do look silly. I don't think I could wear these, like, <laughs> not with, like, something that covers that, maybe? Um, but, yeah, wearing something oversized with it, I instantly love. I'm also not even going to throw shoes on because... You guys know I would be wearing my Converse and that's getting really redundant and I'm kind of putting shoes on. But I do want to just like attempt something really fast while I have you guys. So I mean I have this belt which I feel like is that a bit much with these pants maybe. Also if I hike them up enough these are actually pretty high waisted or at least they're supposed to be. <laughs> oh my gosh guys I love these. Okay I have to keep them and find a way to make them work for me. This is likely gonna feel like I am cosplaying as somebody that I'm not, okay? Um, but I just recently got this Rolling Stones t-shirt and I actually found it in the same day that I found these pants and I was like, it's giving rockabilly goodness. I love the Rolling Stones. I really truly do. I love the graphic on the shirt because it looks kind of vintage. I mean, it's definitely not, but um, that is really cute, <laughs> honestly. Like, I don't know. I mean, I wish I didn't have to have the belt with it, but like, honestly, I kind of love it though. I thought putting this on that it was gonna really not feel like me, but it actually, it doesn't feel that weird, actually. I just thought, you know, a band t-shirt with these pants would be really, really sick. Let's see. If I didn't have the belt on and these actually fit me well, <laughs> in a perfect world, I actually did order some buttons that are like basically pins so that you can adjust your pants like because most of my pants fit like maybe an inch too big and that's like not something that I'm gonna sit there and like try to hem or not hem that's not something I'm gonna like actually try to alter to like fit me right you know what I mean um these would be a little too big unfortunately to do the button trick with but um take the belt off to get the full effect and again we're gonna pretend that these do fit me right can't really see it from the back too bad, but yeah, that's really cute with the cardigan too. I just wanted to kind of test out a few different ways to style these. It's funny, as soon as the belt comes off, they do fall down like a lot. Uh, if anybody knows like good tips on how to alter, would I like take them in on the sides maybe? You guys know I really am like trying to get into sewing. They just need to be like two or three sizes smaller. <laughs> Anyways, um. I think that's gonna be it for this video. I've been talking for so long. I've been trying on so many clothes. I have a fat mess in my room now, but that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed kind of like talking through different pieces and styling them a few different ways rather than trying to come up with like all super like crazy good outfits. This is just like, I wanted to show you guys what I'm really actually wearing. You know what I mean? Because that's more realistic and I think it could still be inspirational, especially like Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. Like I really do, I repeat outfits. I wear the same exact pieces of clothes over and over and over. Like so many times when I post TikTok OOTDs, I'm like, here I am wearing the same clothes that I always do. And I have had people be like, no girl, like that's a good thing. You're supposed to wear your clothes. I'm like, I know that. And I don't find anything wrong with that at all. Personally, I just feel like it gets a little boring for like content, but at the same time, hopefully it inspires you guys to wear your clothes a lot, like to actually get proper wear out of them and 
how you can style the same piece like a few different ways. I know my style is definitely like a lot of it is like within the same kind of circle. I almost am bordering on like a capsule wardrobe damn near because I feel like a lot of my outfits are like the same versions of each other almost. I don't know guys. I just have definitely really kind of honed in my style this past like year or so and even though I do thrift a lot and I do cycle things in and out of my wardrobe a lot, I feel like I've really nailed down like what I like, what patterns I like, what colors I like, the silhouettes that I like. So yeah, I just like, I know what I feel comfortable and the most me in and I'm really embracing that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know which outfit was your favorite. Let me know if you liked this video and would like to see some more. I feel like I mostly do these seasonally, but you know, with the new year, I've been trying to figure out what direction to take my channel and I really do want to do styling videos more often so if you like it let me know and I will keep these coming but um yeah other than that I think that's all I have for you guys today I love you guys so so much thank you for watching make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram I have all of my other links down below and I will see you guys in a video very very soon I love you bye